So making solution is another important thing that you need to learn in this module because uh, especially in your practicals, you will um, have to make a lot of different solution with uh, specific concentration. And also um, you will have to uh, have um, a stock solution with a, concentra a concentrated, uh, with a concentrated uh, solution. Uh, a certain concentration and then you will be asked to make a serial dilution of that and make different other solution of much lower concentration. So how can you use that stock solution and uh, how can you calculate the concentration of the other small, uh, smaller concentrated uh, solutions? So to do this, uh, usually you calculate the quantity of reagents needed to prepare a solution. We use the relation M concentrated times V concentrated equals M diluted times V diluted. So M concentration is the concentration of the concentrated solution. And here we use any term of concentration. As long as it's the same term on both sides of the equation, then it's okay. So if you use molarity on one side, you have to use molarity on the other side. If you have use part per million on one side, you have to use part per million on the other side. If you have, if you use um, weight per weight or weight per volume, you have to use the same on the other side. So as long as you use the same term, it's absolutely fine to use any term. So this is the M concentrated and M diluted, of course, is going to be the uh, co concentration of the diluted solution. And V concentrated is the volume of the concentrated solution that we will need to use in order to make the diluted solution. So V diluted is the final uh, total uh, volume of the diluted solution. So let's have some example in order to understand how can we use this equation. So this is uh, first uh, a question. Uh, about how many grams of cobalt chloride pentahydrate are needed to make 500 ml of a solution that is 1,000 part per million um, concentration of copper. The molecular mass of cobalt chloride um, pentahydrate is 224.53 gram per mole, and uh, the um, atomic mass of copper is 63.546 gram per mole. So in order to answer this question, we need to do two steps. First, we need to calculate the grams of cover required in order to make 1,000 part per million cover in the 500 ml uh, solution. And then we need to calculate the number of grams of cover, uh, cover chloride uh, pentahydrate that contains that amount of cover. So first of all, we know that we uh, the concentration of the cover uh, in the solution is 1,000 part per million, which means 1,000 microgram per mil. <coughs> so we need the concentration to be 1,000 microgram per mil. And we know that we have 500 mil. So the amount of the grams of cover required is 500 ml times 1000 microgram per ml. So you will end up having 5 times 10 to the power 5 microgram. We can change that into gram if we multiply, if we multiply times 10 to the power minus 6, we can change that into gram. So it's going to be 0 0.5 gram copper. So we know that we need 0 0.5 gram copper. Now we need to know how much copper chloride pentahydrate contains 0 0.5 gram copper. We know that from the relation of the molecular mass of copper chloride pentahydrate and the uh, copper itself, that copper chloride pentahydrate, the molecular mass is 2 to 
copper itself is 63.546 so if I need 0 0.5 gram copper how much would I need from the copper chloride pentahydrate so the mass of copper, copper chloride pentahydrate that contains 0 0.5 gram will equal 0 0.5 times 224.53 divided by 63.546. So if you do that, you will find that it's 1.767 gram copper chloride pentahydrate. So this is how you calculate the amount of copper chloride pentahydrate that will contain that amount which is 0 0.5 gram of copper and for any other compound you can just simply do the same relation between the um, uh, atomic mass of the element in relation to the uh, molecular mass of the uh, compound of course if we have two copper atoms in the molecule then it will not be um, uh, then we will have to use a less uh, amount of the uh, solution, less amount of the compound, because then in this relation, it's one mole of cover, per one mole of the cover chloride pentahydrate. But if you have something else that has two of the uh, element we are looking for, then it's going to be one mole of that element to half mole of the other one. So we then use a um, different relation because the amount of copper here will not be only equal to its molecular mass, but it's going to be doubled. So let's have another um, example. So if we have um, a solution, um, concentrated solution of copper that has 1000 parts per million copper chloride, uh, pentahydrate that has 1000 parts per million of copper and we want to make another solution of that that is 500 ml and uh, the concentration of copper here is going to be 1000 part per million how can we do this we're going to use directly use the uh, equation we talked about which is M concentrated times B concentrated equals M diluted times B diluted. This is, we're going to use, apply this equation uh, directly. So the M concentrated here will equal 10,000 parts per million. V concentrated is the volume we need to find. And M diluted is 1,000 part per million and the V diluted here is 500 ml which is the final volume of the diluted solution so applying this equation now the V concentrated this is the volume we need to find will equal the M diluted which is 1000 times V diluted which is 500 divided by the M concentrated which is 10,000 so you will find that this the V concentrated is 50 ml so in order to make this solution you need to take 50 ml of your concentrated solution and then pour it in uh, your flask and then complete with water to the 500 ml mark then you the uh, concentration of diluted solution will be uh, 1000 part per million another very important type of um, calculation you also will encounter this year during your um, during your work is how to um, find to calculate uh, the amount of something like concentrated hydrogen um, chloride solution and how many mils you need to use from that concentrated hydrogen chloride in order to make uh, a certain diluted solution with a certain molarity concentration so let's have a look at this example because you're going to use this during your practical 
How many milliliters of concentrated hydrogen chloride are needed to make 500 ml of a solution that is 0.25 molar in HCl? So we can simply apply the same relation or the same equation, which is M concentrated times V concentrated equals M diluted times V diluted. But we have the M diluted here in molarity, so it's 0.250 molar. V diluted is 500 ml. Okay, so we need to find the V concentrated. This is our X. Okay, and the this, uh, this um, question didn't actually give us what is the M concentrated, what is the concentration of the concentrated HCl solution. They just said concentrated HCl. Normally, when we uh, look at the bottle of HCl, concentrated hydrochloric acid, we will find the following information. We will find the, uh, that the concentrated HCl is 37.2 weight per weight HCl. And the density is 1.188 gram per milliliter. And that we know that also the molecular mass of HCl, if we calculated it, it will be 36.46 gram per mole. So we need to change this weight per weight concentration of HCl to change, we need to change weight per weight into molar. How can we do this? So we know that weight per weight means gram per 100 gram. It's weight per weight, not per 100 ml. And we cannot use it as 100 ml because now we know the density is not 1. The density is 1.118 gram per, uh, per milliliter. So how can we do this? So <coughs> the first thing we need to do is to change the concentration of HCl from gram per 100 gram into how many grams per 100 ml. So we know that the concentration is 37.2 gram per 100, uh, per 100 gram. So how much will that be as gram per 100 ml? We know that the density of HCl concentrated HCl solution is 1.1 8, 8 gram per ml. So in order to change this concentration from gram per 100 gram into gram per ml, we will multiply gram 100 gram. Multiply this by the density, which is 1.188 gram over 1 ml because the density is how many grams per how many ml. So the gram will go with the gram and if you do this calculation you will find that the concentration is 44.194 gram per 100 ml. So this is the first step. The first step I need to change it from gram per 100 gram into gram per 100 ml. So once I found that, then now I can simply find the molarity. Uh, how can I find the molarity? I can, if I simply divide this mass, in order to find how many moles are there, per 100 gram, per 100 ml. So we know that there are 44.194 grams in 100 ml. So if we divide this by the molecular mass of HCl, which is 36.46, we will find that we have 1.21 moles. So we have 1.21 moles of HCl in each 100 ml of our solution. 
So what will be the molarity? So the molarity is will be the moles over volume in liter. So we know that there are 1.21 moles and 0.1 liter. So the molarity of HCl, concentrated HCl, is 12.1 molar or 12.1 mole per liter. Now I already changed that concentration from uh, from uh, weight per weight into molarity. I can now apply my equation M concentrated V concentrated equals M diluted times V diluted. So going back now, I know that M concentrated is 12.1 molar. So if I rearrange this equation, then the V concentrated will equal 0 0.25 times 500 divided by 12.1 molar. And we will find that it's 10.33 ml. That means in order to prepare a solution, uh, 500 ml solution that has 0 0.25 molar HCl, I need to use 10.33 ml of the concentrated HCl. So always keep in mind that I have to use the same term of concentration on both sides of the equation in order to get our answer to this question.